The simplest way for a hacker to gain entry into a system is by using a brute force attack. This consists of just throwing a bunch of different usernames and passwords out of the system until finally you get one that clicks. Today, we're going to learn about a tool called WordLister, which can create a password dictionary within seconds on this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Brute force attacks are preferred because of their simplicity. Simply take a list of passwords, point it at a target, and wait. Now the problem with this is that if the password is long enough, you can be waiting your whole life before the password is randomly cracked. Fortunately, if we have some prior knowledge about the target, such as their favorite sports team or previous passwords that they've used, we can dramatically reduce this time. Using a program such as WordLister, we can create a tailor-made list of passwords using a seed of a few keywords in just seconds. All you need to all you need to run WordLister is Python 3. If you run into any problems with this tutorial or have any more questions, you can check out the article linked in the description. Now, assuming that you do have Python 3 installed on your computer, we can begin. Now, assuming you already have Python 3 installed on your computer, all you're going to have to do to start playing around with WordLister is clone the GitHub directory, which is linked in the article in the description. So if, all you have to do is copy that and then go ahead and open a terminal and you're going to do git clone and then the um, URL. But I already took care of that and I installed it already. So after you run that command, you'll um, have this directory on your computer, which contains these three files. Um, and then this wordlister.py is going to do all the heavy lifting, lifting for us and create those um, custom password lists. Now, in order to start using wordlister.py, you're going to have to give it um, a text file which contains the keywords that it will use to actually make the passwords. And so I already went ahead and made a text file. So if we go ahead and take a look at that. So it's just every line contains um, the keyword that will be used to create the passwords. So this is like targeting a person. And so say we already know some stuff about them. Like say we know their favorite uh, sports team is the Dodgers. So they're pretty likely to use that in their password. Say they're not too likely with um, too savvy with computers. So they might use the actual word password in their password, which is never a good idea. Say that their grandma's name is Barbara. So they might use that and their favorite color is blue. So this is just some examples of very um, limited knowledge about the user, but it's something that they might use in their password. So it already makes the brute force attack much more likely to succeed than just randomly throwing out some letters at the account. So now to actually create the list of passwords, we're gonna go ahead and use Python 3 um, and then wordlister.py. And then there's gonna be four required arguments. The first of which is input. And this is simply our, um, our text file that we just created. So it's gonna be input words.txt. The next required argument is tac tac perm. And this is the maximum number of permutations that will be included in each password. And so what it means by that is every password is gonna use a combination of these four words. And so if we set our maximum permutations to three, it's gonna use a maximum of these three words per password. For example, one password might be Dodgers, Barbara, Blue, and then it's gonna stop because we set our maximum permutations to three. The next argument is tac tac min, and this is the minimum character length for each password. So because a lot of um, web services and stuff set a minimum password length at eight to increase user security, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then the next one is max, which is the maximum character length, and we'll go ahead and set that to 32. Now, once you have that all set up, you can press enter, and then it's gonna it's gonna randomly combine these four keywords and create our list of passwords. And now we can go ahead and use this, put it into a brute force program, and target at the user, and hopefully we'll get to see some results. Now, there's some other options because oftentimes accounts will require a capital letter or some numbers, and so there's some other options that we can use to make this list uh, more likely to succeed. So if we go ahead and use the last command and we add the argument um, append um, and then a string of characters, so say one, two, three, this is gonna append the characters one, two, three to every word. So go ahead and see that. And so if we see that, oh, it, it includes all the options from this trial and that also includes um, one, two, three as an option. So it's gonna try both. And then another option is um, tac tac leet. And then this will use a combination of letters and numbers and create an epic gamer list of passwords that 
will have a more likely chance of actually brute forcing into the account. And so there you go. This is just a very quick demo of some of the functionality used in WordLister to create a custom tailored list of passwords to hopefully make a uh, brute force attack more likely to succeed. Today we saw how easy it is for a hacker to create a list of tailor-made passwords used for a brute force attack using WordLister. If anything, this should show you the importance of creating a long, secure password that is unique for every account that you use. Remember, if you run into any problems or have any questions about this tutorial, you can check out the article linked in the description. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.